Okay, now we're in the dangerous territory. Remember, leveraged yield farming is very, very dangerous. But of course, with danger comes high reward. I'm not going to go very in depth into this because this is, remember, a beginner's guide to Tulip. Okay, leverage is very dangerous. The better options for you are to lend your tokens for a stable APY and stable return, or you can compound your liquidity providing uh, tokens into the vaults. Leverage yield farming is very dangerous. Okay, how are you gonna do it? Hey there, if you're new here, I'm the Metaverse Explorer, and I provide you with the most up-to-date Solana-specific content and alpha to increase the size of your portfolio. All totally free. All you gotta do is click that little bell and that little icon. I get my sources from three different places. The Grape Solana Discord channel, join us, have a chat to me. The Solana Grapevine, a daily newsletter providing the best source of information regarding new protocols, rewards. It's a group of passionate people that carefully curate new announcements, new projects to discover and actionable intel for you to experience yourself. You can get the link to this down below. And of course, the Solana Foundation and the ecosystem. Let's get to this episode. Hello, you beautiful people. So I've done something different for this video. I'm going to leave the explanation of Tulip at the end of the video, of uh, explanation of uh, Soul Farm at the end of the video. And I'm actually just gonna show you how to use it right now. So we're gonna look at the vaults feature, the lending feature, and then the leverage yield farming. And I, <laughs> at the end of the video, I explain to you why you should stay away from leverage yield farming. So this is Tulip. I've already logged in on the top right-hand side, and this is tulip.gardens, okay? And you can go to the app section. Uh, I'm going to give you a small overview. The top left-hand corner is kind of the platforms that Tulip um, compounds all, all of your, all of your uh, tokens from. So they use the Orca protocol, Radium protocol, and Sabre protocol. And these are the tokens that are currently offered in Tulip at the moment. And there's a lot of them. They're going to find a way to have to sort all of these out, such as into like stable coins or into, you know, uh, meme coins, whatever. That's up to them. So the vault section, the vault is basically a um, think about it when you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool so if you have uh, USDC and USDT into one single pool so people can come with one or the other token and swap it for the other in the same pool when you have these pools it accrues fees for everyone else that comes and swaps in this pool in these protocols such as Orca and Radium and Sabre these uh, fees just accrue there and stay there they don't do anything for you until you come and claim. So what Tulip is offering you in the vault section is all of these fees that you are accruing and all of these rewards that you are accruing from being in this pool, they actually compound it. They sell those tokens on the market and increase the size of your um, uh, liquidity pool itself. So for example, let's take this first one. If you had the gene, which is this new Genopets token, they did an IDO on Radium. If you had the gene token and you had the USDC token and you provided liquidity in the Radium farm, they were giving you, uh, let's actually go ahead and have a look. Let's go ahead and have a look at what the, um, what the rewards are for the gene and um, USD, the gene and USDC pool. Gene and uh, Ray, Gene and USDC pool. So you can see here, there's an APR of 348% uh, per year. This is non-compounding. So if you provide liquidity in this pool, you're going to be getting 130% uh, from fees, 234% in Gene tokens. Now, so that's 348%. When you provide liquidity here, instead of farming this 348%, you bring it over to Tulip and you get 1000%, 1000% from 370. And what do they charge you? They charge you 3% here, 1% here. So they charge you 4%. <laughs> do, you, do you get what that means? You have something that's earning 300% a year, but now you can be earning 1000% of the year and they charge you 4%. Does that sound attractive to you? It is. 
what the main benefit of this is that you get really high rewards for your liquidity provision one of the drawdown is it automatically sells the rewards from the token that you're actually uh, accruing so in this rule in this instance you would be getting 234 percent in the gene token now that gene token is going to stay there until you come and claim it but tulip unfortunately sells that token to increase the size of your original pool right here that's a good thing and a bad thing it's a bad thing if uh gene decides to go to 100x and all the gene that you might have been accruing here increases in value but at the same time if gene goes up in value your pool actually goes up in value as well because you have half gene and half usdc all right so that's enough for now let me show you how you can deposit yourself into one of these pools let's do a small example let's do one that i have some tokens for all right you ready let's do it so we have the radium pool we're going to provide liquidity to the gene and usdc pool you can see i have one gene here and the equal amount is 19.93 dollars i'm going to supply this liquidity approve and you'll see one of these new liquidities come down here after the transaction confirms let's refresh there we go gene usdc and you can see i have 4.90 lp tokens now we can take this over to the farm and try and farm gene usdc lp at 348 percent but i think that's a bit too low for me let's take it over to tulip tulip over here has the same pool uh, gene usdc lp let me refresh the page and we should have some gene usdc lp and here we are it's refreshed itself so you can see here my wallet balance is 4.9 of this lp token reward now i'm going to deposit this into tulip to earn 1000 percent instead of the 348 which is static it just stays there the rewards um, what tulip does of course is it sells your rewards and increases uh your um your underlying capital so i'm going to click max deposit all of it deposit all of it here and then approve it amazing and it's going to be sent in there and you'll see it'll go from wallet balance to the deposited balance awesome and this little trophy tells you how much rewards you've gotten since the last time so they remember they do charge you one percent and three percent make sure you uh, take these into factor um, and then you can look at the daily APR for every day you'll be earning nearly 1% of your fees which is 0.31 in fees and the yield is 0.65 and every year if this goes on for a year which it will not you're going to be getting over a thousand percent which is awesome very awesome all right so let's go and talk about the lending side of things this is the vault section let's go and talk about lending so this is what the lending page looks like what it basically is is you have your reserve currency here with whatever you have whatever they accept some of them are usdc stable coins radium tokens solana tokens btc atlas polis tulip whatever it is what you can do is you can deposit your tokens here okay this is your balance in your wallet this is the deposited tokens you're going to put into this lending feature you're going to accrue 16.7 percent six seven percent uh, compounding hourly on your usdc on the right hand side you can see the total supply which is how much is of that token it is in that uh, protocol so there's 118 million dollars of supply and there's only 91 million dollars being borrowed so th this gives it a utilization of 76.79 percent now if your utilization goes above 95 percent that means more than 95 percent of the entire pool is being used you might not be able to withdraw your tokens because other people are still using it you have to wait till more people deposit into the pool to free it up so you can withdraw your capital or people just stop using it so let's go ahead and show you how to deposit some usdc into this pool so that you can accrue 16.66 percent as you can see i have 86 dollars in here i'm going to deposit 10 usdc into this tulip lending protocol this will come up with the it's going to sign the transaction transactions confirmed and you can see i've deposited ten dollars 
$10 in here. So now I'm going to be earning 16.66% and I don't have to do anything. You just have to leave this in there, come and collect it when you are ready. When you come and collect it, you will see you will no longer have $10 in here. It'll be $10.01, $10.05, $10.20. $10 You'll see. This is an easy way. This is one of the easiest ways to earn uh, money on your yield. Okay. Okay, now we're in the dangerous territory. Remember, leveraged yield farming is very, very dangerous. But of course, with danger comes high reward. I'm not going to go very in depth into this because this is, remember, a beginner's guide to Tulip. Okay, leverage is very dangerous. The better options for you are to lend your tokens for a stable APY and stable return, or you can compound your liquidity providing uh, tokens into the vaults. Leverage yield farming is very dangerous. Okay, how are you going to do it? Let's look at the uh, actual leverage yield farming section. You can sort by all the platforms, either Orca and Radium. So let's look at these first ones, Stars USDC. Stars is a new gaming, uh, a new launchpad token that's going to be coming out very soon. It's got 28,000% APY. How does it achieve this? It achieves this by first providing, you can farm this three times. What that means is that you originally supply your balance that you want to start farming with, say $50. What it's going to do is it's going to provide $50 into this pool itself. And then it's going to take that pool, borrow from it, and use that new borrowed money to buy more of that pool and use that money itself again to buy more of that pool. And this is what you call leverage. And when you borrow, you're actually borrowing one asset or the other. And in this case, we are borrowing USDC and the borrowed assets. Sometimes it lets you choose which asset to borrow. And you can also choose what leverage you're going to go to. And of course, with a higher leverage comes higher reward. You'll see this, your leverage is three, three times at the moment, and your yield farming is 5 .6, uh, 5, 564. Let's go down to only 2x, and you'll see it's 371. And you leverage, and you don't leverage at all, which is just one, is uh, 188. Okay, and um, that's basically how you do it. <coughs> now, where do where does this money actually come from the money that you're borrowing to to yield farm these tokens they're coming from the lending protocol that we talked about before okay so people who are lending here are lending their tokens for people to leverage yield farm on this side of the platform um i think it's a good setup there are probably other kind of um tools and implementations coming. They have uh, teased that there is more functionality coming to the Tulip platform. And that's about the basic gist of Tulip, guys. It's um, it's a really great tool. It's one of the original tools in Solana. It's been very widely used, very stable, um, and well trusted in the ecosystem. Obviously, you know, this is free for all. They do say this is still beta. Um, you know, don't put money in here. You're not willing to lose. But uh, if you're new, I would recommend trying out the lending feature and then the vaults feature. Stay away from leverage. And that's it for now, guys. I'll give you the, uh, the uh, explanation now. Thanks. Hello, hello. So you're here to learn about Tulip or as it was previously known as Soul Farm. So what is Tulip? Tulip is a uh, yield aggregator. What does that actually mean? That means it's a place simply where you can bring your tokens and earn a yield from it. You can earn some rewards for your specific token if the platform uh, allows for this. So this is a beginner's guide to Tulip and how you can use your own tokens that you have in your account on Solana, on your Solana uh, wallet and earn something from them. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the lending feature. We're gonna have a look at the vaults feature and then the leveraged yield farming feature. Now remember, with anything leveraged, stay away from it if you're a beginner. And this is a beginner's tutorial, so we're only gonna to touch on it very, very lightly. So let's go ahead and look at uh, the Tulip homepage at the moment. It's tulip.garden. Uh, this is the number one yield aggregator on Solana at the moment. So uh, let's have a look. It's got $1 billion in total value locked at the moment. What that just means is that there's $1 billion of people who are depositing their tokens into this platform to start earning for them. Uh, let's learn a bit more. So they have a few different facets to them. They have vaults. What vaults means is that it um, when you have a, uh, a liquidity pairs, 
such as Tulip and USDC liquidity pair, instead of taking that liquidity pair and just leaving it there to earn say uh, 1% a year, um, you can uh, take your Tulip and USDC Vault LP tokens and put it into Tulip and it'll actually compound it every hour for you. Um, this increases the amount you get um, in rewards, instead of going to 1%, it might be two, three, four, five, depending how your rewards are. Obviously, the higher your base APY is and the higher the compounding return is going to be. Um, so in the vault at the moment, there's about $700 million locked. Um, and they actually support uh, protocol, the Orca protocol, the Radium protocol and Sabre protocol. These are major liquidity, uh, m uh, liquidity providers in the Solana ecosystem. Let's look at the lending platform, the lending section of Soul Farm. So, uh, of Tulip, sorry. So Tulip, uh, you can bring your own coins here and you can lend it to other people who want to use this token to yield farm or to do something else entirely. They can lend your tokens to yield farm and they will pay you a percentage back. And this percentage compounds every hour. And we're gonna have a look at how to do this. Uh, lending is one of the easiest ways to have uh, your safe basket of assets actually earn you a yield. If you're happy to keep this token and leave it there for a while and not touch it, this is a great way to actually increase your portfolio size. Uh, so lending, they've got uh, 100 million uh, people borrowing, 150 million locked, and there's over 9,000 uh, borrowers. And then we look at the leveraged yield farming. Now, like I said, beginners stay away from leverage. All that basically means very simply is that you have your original position, you're going to borrow against that position, and use that new money to buy more of that position. You have that new position, you're gonna borrow against it to buy the same position again. And this is like, you know, uh, 2x leverage, 3x leverage, 6x leverage, 12x leverage, stay away from it. Okay. And of course, with all these leverages is how you get up to these crazy amounts of yield, which is 8,000%, stay away, okay. So uh, let's have a look at some of the documents as well. So they got a grant recipient from the Solana Foundation and they won a prize at one of the Solana hackathons. They've got a few partners, Solana Foundation, Radium and Serum. Let's have a look at the documentation. Actually the Twitter first, this is their Twitter. It's Tulip Protocol. Uh, and they've got uh, 46,000 followers at the moment. And they only reached 1 billion TVL on November 5th. Let's have a look at their Discord, which they currently have. Oh, I forgot. Anyway, it's okay. This is their documentation. So uh, you can find this right at the bottom where it says documentation there. They give you a few items that you should log out for. So Tulip overview. The Tulip protocol is a first yield aggregation platform built on Solana with auto, auto compounding vault strategies. So all that basically means is it does the work for you. It does charge you a very small amount of fee to auto compound this for you, but it's so small, it's negligible. You might be earning a thousand percent return and they might charge you 1%. That's about the fees that they do. So uh, they give you a really important graph here that I want to highlight that everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know. So these are, uh, let's have a look at the different features of Sol, Sol Farm or Tulip that you can use. There's the lending feature, the vaults feature, and the leveraged yield farm. You can see here, they give you the risks, the re returns, the main risks, and uh, the asset deposited. So the lending is low risk, low risk lending. Uh, the vaults are medium risks, and then the leveraged yield farms are very high risks. And they give you why they are low, medium, and high. For lending, it's interest from borrowers only. So, you know, you only have to interact with one or two people, that sort of thing. Vaults are, you get token emissions, which means the token itself could go down, and trading fees. And then the leveraged yield farming, token emissions plus trading fees minus borrowed interest. So you'll have to borrow someone else's money to leverage yield farm. Some of the main risks are you're unable to withdraw it via 100% and permanent loss, which is super important and everyone needs to know. And of course, with impermanent loss, you actually multiply this when you do it via leverage. Uh, for lending, it's a single asset you can uh, deposit. And uh, this is good. Everyone should read this. Now, there's a few other things, but I think we should actually go ahead and look at the overall uh, application. Let's have a look and play it. <laughs> 